Hello friends, today we are going to talk about the term fume hood. Okay, so basically we'll be talking about uh, the fume hood definition. Okay, its types and how does it work? Uh, what are the requirements of the air in the fume hood? What is the height? I mean the sash height and how should be far away from the fume hood. So a fume hood is basically a ventilated enclosure that is used to vent out or you can say trap okay and exhaust vapors and gases and nanoparticles okay and the exhaust fan is typically stationed at the top of the building and that pulls air through the duct uh, work that work connected to the hood and vent it's out into the outer air or you can say outer atmosphere perfume hood uh, in front you can see and here this is controlled by touch hand so you here you can see the airflow is around 320 meters cube per hour okay and there are certain functions if i click so this is the contact cleaning air monitor auto protect and the level control and the vario top these are the menus okay and in front you can see uh, there is a door okay so this can be adjusted either with the manual okay or you can even uh, i mean put okay down up okay now it says working height is exceeded so this is the sash height and so th should the sash be completely opened close okay now the fume hood uh, basically confines the hazardous airborne material by diluting it with a large amount of air drawing it to an exhaust system and then it expels the air in vents locate on the roof of the building okay? and the proper use of a fume hood sash can also shield the worker from an uncontrolled reaction so i mean how far we should be away or we should be uh, completely inside so this is the i mean uh, we will discuss later it is generally recommended that a fume hood face velocity is between 0.3 meters per second in terms of fpm is 60 and 0.5 meter per second so this is the range of the face velocity however it is best to check with local safety regulations because the variation exists by the state and use i mean where we are basically working Several organizations have adopted fume hood safety standards. So we have uh, NIBOSH standards, OSHA standards, or the US EPA standards. Okay. Now we have basically different kind of fume hoods that is available nowadays. We have uh, ducted, which is which you can see here. This is a ducted fume hood. And we have ductless, and we have a special. In terms of class also, we have class 1, we have class 2, we have class 3, kind of uh, fume hoods. In a ductless fume hood, uh, which is also called a recirculating fume hood, that uses a blower on the fume hood to pull the contaminated air through a HEPA filter. Okay. Now, we don't know where we have a HEPA filter. Usually, the HEPA filter is a kind of a special filter, which is usually used in a kind of uh, laminate flow cabinet, which is also called the uh, biosafety cabinet that recirculates the air back into the room. The type of filter varies depending on the chemistry, I mean what kind of chemicals we are using. So the operator must ensure the use of proper filter for safety. Now, the HEPA filter is basically an acronym for high efficiency particulate air filter and that is officially defined by the US Department of Energy. This type of air filter can theoretically remove of at least 99.97 that you can say 100% of the dust, pollen, mold, bacteria and any airborne part particles that will have a size of 0.3 microns. Fume head is also called a uh, fume cupboard or fume closet okay and we already discussed that it is a type of local exhaust ventilation device that is designed to limit exposure to the hazardous or toxic fumes, vapor or dust. Suppose we have an acid, uh, I mean the highly corrosive one, 
okay so we know about it using the safety data sheet or material safety data sheet that is available with the chemicals when we buy or you can also see it online okay so these have uh, i mean toxic vapors okay so this fume mode will basically protect us from these kind of harmful chemicals sometimes we also think about that is fume hood safe or flammable so does it really i mean it is, is it, i mean necessary that fume hood should be flammable of course from uh, the factory there is no spark potential on the inside of a standard chemo chemical fume hood so it means it will be uh, combining a discontinuous stream of clean room air and this is very little chance that uh, of flammable combustion inside a chemical fume hood now what are the ppes that is required when we use a, a fume hood so uh, the ppes i mean that is a personal protective equipment depend on your our application and the type of materials that we are handling suppose we are burning or paralyzing something inside a fume hood we have a muffled furnace here or uh, a furnace or a oven here so in that case we we must use a thermal glove and and suppose when we are working with acids or highly corrosive bases or something like that then in that case we must use a lab coat okay a uh, glove that should be uh, non powdered non reactive and also we should also cover our eyes with Uh, with uh, safety shields or safety goggles so talked about the hepa filters so i already told you that the fume hoods bio safety cabinets have hepa filters while the chemical fume hood do not have okay. and the also talked about the laminar four this, this is not a laminar four this is a normal fume hood okay so the laminar flow will uh, protect you from particulates while this ductless fume hood or a chemical fume hood will uh, safeguard you from the vapors and the particulates now uh, how to clean the sashes the hood surfaces and the light panel on a regular basis so if there is a spill of oil or a chemical so we need to suppose this is our glass so we have to clean these glasses using the deionized water or we have to wipe it down with mild soap and water okay and which kind of chemicals are being handled in fume hood so a fume hood basically we handle high acute toxicity uh, chemical that are carcinogens carcinogens mutagens or any kind of chemicals that have a high exposure use okay so the we basically define the on the on the nepa health rating of 3 or 4 okay that are flammable corrosive irritating uh, reactive potentially explosive now here you can see that we have the air flow which is in meters cube hour so normally uh, we also measure the uh, air flow in term of cfm so for example the air volume passing through a fume hood is generally equal to the area of the sash opening so this is our sash opening here this is called the sash height okay what should be sash height so it should be 18 inches and for example if 100 feet per meter per minute that is fpm is required and the hood has a sash opening of 7.5 square feet then the hood's air volume is equal to the 750 which is 7.5 into 100 feet okay 100 feet per minute which is the air flow up okay so this would be the total sash opening into the desired air flow now what is the minimum flow for a fume hood typically the fume hood the optimum face velocity is not less than 100 feet per minute in case of low low high efficiency fume hoods the acceptable phase velocity is not less than 80 fpm now the as per the osha the general air flow should not be turbulent and should be relatively uniform throughout the laboratory with no high velocity or static areas 
air flow into and within the hood should not be excessively turbulent hood face velocity should be adequate that is from 60 to 100 fpm and if the fume had sash this is our sash height so it should be set when it is set too high so the fume hood alarm activates we saw that and check the sash height to make sure it is at a proper height as indicated on the label if the alarm is still sounding discontinue the use of wood close the sash post there an out of order sign on the slash and place the work for repair so usually the repair is done by the company which provided us with the fume hood and the when we are working with the fume hood sash in the lowest possible position no higher than 18 inches should it should not be more than 18 inches Keep the sash clean and air, the sash will act as a physical barrier in the event of accident inside the fume hood. I mean, when I am facing the fume hood, so I should be a little away. Okay. And also, make sure uh, we are properly opening the uh, fume hood. And also, there should be exhaust lot and hood set should be around of 18 inches. And there should also be a minimum storage along the side weight i mean if we are putting something here surely there should be a gap from the outer i mean the left extreme or the right extreme and the instruction to the operators is that do not operate with this uh, sash above the uh, i mean the uh, red maximum height arrow and close the sash completely when the hood when we are not using the fume hood basically so this was all about the fume hood or chemical fume hood in the out next le uh, video lectures we'll be talking about the use of biosafety cabinets and the use of the uh, laminar flow cabinets or okay that is basically uh, used in the uh, microbiology laboratory